Hey, what is up everyone? Chris back with another video. Today we're going to be going over my full review of the Xiaomi Mi Band 2. As you can see here, I do have it on. I've been using this for over, pretty much ever since I've done the initial unboxing, which I'll leave the link down in the description where you can check that out. Um, I'm really enjoying this, guys, um, even more so than the first one. Um, there are a few uh, little things that I'll go over here in this video, um, but let's jump right into it. So first you still have that same great uh, silicone band um, that the original one used. It is slightly different just because the actual puck is a little bigger. You do now have this capacitive button which you can use to scroll through your different menus and see the time and wake up the OLED screen. Um, so this OLED screen is just this little bit right there. And I do have just a simple, just a kind of plastic type screen protector to help protect it as well. You can pick one up for a buck or two. Um, now, since this is the Mi Band 2, you have several different improvements. You do have the heart rate monitor. They have improved the algorithm for the step counter over the, the initial one. Um, so that's nice. And it still keeps the the minimal um, and lightness of the whole band series, which is nice. So if you're wanting something that's more like a, a Fitbit, but you don't want to pay the high price of one, then you should check this out and pick one up for yourself. You can get them for about 25 bucks, um, maybe even cheaper if you get one on a, a flash sale. I'll leave links where you can um, pick one up down on Banggood or Gearbest. Now, you can also, they have different bands, so they have a leather band, a metal, and different colors in case black is not your style. I've been using the Mi Band more because I've started to get into more exercising um, and just health and fitness altogether. So we can see here, you, were, you are going to need the Mi Fit app installed on your iOS or Android device. So this will track your sleep, your steps, and activity as far as your heart rate and things like that. Um, so we see here um, just your sleep activity and the tracking. They have also improved this app just aesthetically and just how much information and the layout of it goes um, compared to my initial unboxing and setup. But we see here it does track your deep sleep and light sleep. And then also any times that you were woken up during the middle of the night. Now the thing is, what I've noticed that hasn't been as good is the awake sensing of when you wake up during the middle of the night. Many times I know for a fact I've taken my dog out in the middle of the night, 2, 3 in the morning, but yet on, my, on the band and in the app it doesn't show that I woke up. So I'm not sure if that's a bug, if there needs to be an improvement. Um, on Xiaomi's end to improve the maybe a firmware update to this I'm not sure but I know that has not been as accurate not a big deal since sleep hasn't been uh, a huge priority yes it's nice to know when I get to sleep and things like that it also gives you information kind of like rating how your sleep was comparing it to other people um, how early you fell asleep and how much deep sleep you got compared to others so that's kind of cool gives you a rating i'm not sure how that rating is based on but there's that and you can always see a history of your whole sleep as you can see here gives you just a brief summary down below also and another great thing is that all of this me the me band and the me fit app syncs with google fit so if you have that then this is a great uh, combination to track your health over on the and import it into Google. Um, so as far as steps, it does give you the ability to track your steps just on a day-to-day -day basis. And it gives you this timeline and you can swipe between days and things like that. Calculates your distance, a rough estimate based on like your height and things like that. Calories burned. And then as far as if you're walking slowly throughout the day and, and things like that. Now, the really great thing is the activities feature. 
So this doesn't have built-in GPS. Um, it doesn't have an LTE connection. So you are going to need your phone when you go on um, activities and things like that to track your, um, like if you're going to be running to track your, your map and, th and that sort of thing. So if we go into activities, we can see, let's take a look for the month of August. I did three activities last week, um, all running activities. So if we look at this one here, it'll show you a map of your um, of your run. I won't show that for privacy reasons, but we can see here your total distance, how long you were running for, and your pace, since it is using the GPS on your phone, which you're going to need with you. Or estimate of your, uh, your calories burned um, and your speed, how many steps you took, and this is what's really cool. What I didn't see on Mi Band 1 um, or my Android Wear watches is that your stride, how long your stride is every step in your cadence. So basically how many steps you take per minute, which is really cool depending on um, if you're trying to train specifically to achieve something, um, your cadence is important. And then of course your heart rate, which is the average heart rate. Now if we scroll down here, we have more information as far as um, your antibiotic heart rate, um, your aerobic, your VO2 max, and things like that. So all of this heart rate information is right there for you to see how long you were in each of these. So if you go over to pace, it breaks down your running um, per mile, things like that. Fastest and kind of give you, gives you the stats there. Here is uh, where you can track how much your pace is for um, your total workout. So since this is a run, I started off walking for about five minutes and then increased my pace and then walked a couple other times. You can see the, the dips there. Um, and then here you can see the heart rate, um, which will monitor during the whole course of that um, your activity. So you can see the increase of heart rate um, where it was lower when I walked and the dips and things like that. So that's pretty accurate. I don't know how accurate it is. I'll have to compare it to um, maybe the, the Huawei Fit, um, which I'll do a comparison with both of these also. I'm not sure why altitude is not there. Maybe because we're in the US, that might be the reason why. But you can definitely keep a track of all of your activities. Now, Here's a few caveats. This will not actively track your heart rate 24 seven. It'll only track your heart rate 24 seven if you're doing a, an activity. So if you're gonna be doing like a running, a bicycling, that's when it'll track your heart rate constantly. Now, if you're wanting to check your heart rate during the day and things like that, you can use your watch and swipe over or tap over to the heart rate section right there it'll then read your heart rate at that given moment. So that's the only other thing. Um, because the battery is very small in this, it's gonna kill the battery if it's actively reading your heart rate. Um, so keep that in mind. Just because of the sheer size of it, you're not gonna get the, the ability like a Huawei, um, you're not gonna get the, the ability for constant heart rate monitoring like an Android or a watch or um, other like an Apple Watch or of the likes. So just keep that in mind. This is um, something that is on the cheaper side. And we can see here the heart rate that you can check throughout the day. You can even make sure and measure it from within the app here also. So very versatile. Um, you have your profile. You can set goals as far as your activity, how many steps you want to, to achieve in a given day. Um, you can also have it, like I mentioned, track your sleep. Battery life has been fantastic. Since I last posted the video of the unboxing, I've only charged it once, and that was uh, three days ago, as you can see there. So in three days, I only lost 9% of battery. It's been about maybe a month. I was using this, maybe three weeks, give or take. You can use this, since it is Bluetooth, um, use it to do a smart unlock for Android devices. Um, you can have it receive just basic um, notifications on here. So if you receive a text message, it'll just show like a SMS type icon and then the person's name. It won't give you any details as far as what the message is. 
the same goes for your calls. It'll just show who's calling there. Um, now, as far as the app alerts, you can have it vibrate for specific apps, but it's not gonna give you the details on what app it's vibrating. It'll just show an app icon that's there, which is a little unfortunate, but you are limited as to the size of this displays. But you are limited to the size of the display, so it's not gonna show a lot of information. You can also, if you uh, lose the band, you can find it. Um, typing on here, this will vibrate. The vibration is actually pretty good. Um, it's not too weak to where you're not. it's not noticeable, but it's not overly strong where it's obnoxious and things like that. So lots of customization as far as what it can do. The heart rate sleep assistant, I had that turned on hoping that it would improve um, the wake up um, issue that I was having with the sleep but unfortunately there wasn't any improvement so I may just turn that off that's going to improve the battery life if anything and then you also here in the activities you can have it monitor if you're looking for your heart rate to be in a specific uh, zone as far as if it's too high or too low you can have the the, the Mi Band vibrate letting you know um, if it's too low or if your pace is, is too slow, um, it'll alert you, that sort of thing. So that's really cool. Um, I'm really liking this. Again, for 25, 30 bucks, I don't think you can really beat this. Um, there are just those caveats with the sleep tracking hasn't been too accurate, um, but I'll definitely keep you all up to date if anything improves or changes and I'm going to be doing the comparison with the Huawei Fit here maybe in the next month or so. I really want to put these both through the paces and compare the two with each other. The The simplicity of it is what I really enjoy. I really have to uh, think about it um, as far as what I'm wanting to, to get information from. Now since it does track your steps you will have and your sleep you will have to um, just on a daily basis sync the band to that to the phone that way your sleep information and steps get updated but that's not a big deal I think that's also for battery saving purposes as to keep down from the amount of polling and updating that the band does with your phone so you can see all here just a quick summary as far as what's um, your activity and steps and things like that on the front page. Since the since they do have other products like the uh, the Mi Scale, this will also incorporate. So you don't need a separate app. Um, I do have the Mi Scale. I'll be doing also a, a video on that as well. Stay tuned and subscribe for that. Really appreciate you all for wa uh, for watching. Like I said, I'll leave links where you can purchase the Mi, Mi Band Two. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I'll make sure to answer them. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.